Angkor Wat is the wonder of Cambodia, and definitely a wonder of the world. The peacefulness, the amazing sculptures on the stones, all make you feel like you're part of something big. The Angkor Archaeological Park is what remains of the magnificent Khmer civilization. It's astonishing to think that a million people used to live here just 800 years ago. The site is huge as it covers over 400 square kilometers, almost the size of modern-day Paris. The park was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1992. We'll take you on a short tour covering the main sites. A visit to Angkor Archaeological Park should start with Angkor Wat, and it should start around 5 am. You'll be amazed at the number of people gathering here by the lake, waiting quietly for the sun to appear behind the towers. The sunrise is something not to be missed if you're lucky enough to catch a clear sky. We weren't. The Angkor Wat was built in the 12th century by King Surayavarman II as a Hindu worship place. Gradually, it was transformed into a Buddhist temple. One of the causes of Angkor Wat's fame is the extensive decoration, mainly the best relief friezes. Most of the inner walls of the outer gallery are carved with scenes from the Hindu epics Ramayana and Mahabharata. Our next stop is Angkor Thom, the great city. In this former capital of the Khmer Empire, you will discover the ruins of the royal palace, the face towers of the Bayon, and the pyramid temple Pafon. The Bayon Temple is unique and impressive because of the giant stone faces that top the 37 remaining towers. There is still a debate as to who is depicted in the faces. Some agree that it should be a combination of King Jayaparman VII and Buddha. The main terrace has a great perspective for pictures and, no matter where you're standing, a face smiles upon you. As you continue your visit, you can gaze upon the best reliefs of the temple, depicting Angkorian people's everyday life. Next on your list should be the Pyramid Temple Bafuan, which is located just 100 meters from Bayon, so within walking distance. The construction, inspired by Mount Meru, consists of five levels. Climb on top and you'll be amazed by the great perspective. Exit the temple and walk on the Elephant Terrace. The road will lead you to the Royal Palace Gates. The Bayon and Bafon temples, as well as the Elephant Terrace, are part of Angkor Thom, the great city, which was the last and most enduring capital of the Khmer Empire. Next up is Praia Khan. It's only 3 kilometers north of Angkor Thom, so it's a short tuk-tuk ride, but enough to escape the heat for a little bit and admire the jungle. Praia Khan was built in the 12th century by King Jayavarman VII to honor his father. The name actually means royal sword. Enter the temple through one of the three main gates and take your time to wander around the maze-like corridors. Okay. 
admire the details of the Apsara best reliefs, the sculptured pillars, and the ruined altars dedicated to forgotten kings and gods. Continue your walk to the central sanctuary where you'll find a stupa that Buddhists think make your wishes come true. Let's hope they're right. Also built by King Jayavarman VII, Taprom Temple is dedicated to his mother. Nevertheless, these days is best known as Tomb Raider Temple because of the famous movie shot here. Much of the temple was swollen by jungle, but the strangler figs embracing human work is wonderful. The massive tentacle-like roots found their way through the towers and the stones, contributing to the temple's unique charm. This was a short tour among the ruins of Angkor. Some tourists may choose to dedicate more time to the Angkor complex, but that really depends on the length of your stay, because remember, there are other things to see in Siem Reap.